Welcome back to episode two of the Week of Leaks. If you thought episode one was crazy, you haven't seen anything yet. We're uncovering more secrets and taking the journey to the next level. Ready to see what's in store? Let's jump right in. In fact, for you, as I was talking about the World Gate and Kalido. So here's an interesting fact. So Kalido is about 2,000 kilometers from actual cornucopias. So... Uh, so, so there you go for this entire time community, yeah. you haven't been playing inside cornucopias. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, it's yeah. So it, it is that way lore wise, because the world gate, there's only one of them on this planet earth and sometimes horrible things come through the world gate. So Kalido is kind of this outpost that's, that's far away from the, the rest of the game area. And it's sort of keeps, you know, the main cornucopia safe for any issues that might show up. Uh, at that world gate. Mm. Very interesting. It's also a good way to bring people in from other worlds and sort of vet them before they're allowed out into the, you know, the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. So he just said other worlds. So, <clears throat> so there's other dimensions of planet Earth, but there's also other worlds that we're bringing people from. So I'd like to say that my character actually goes pretty well because I created a character that came from a different world that was an entrepreneur that wanted to come in and, and help grow the space of Cornucopius and whatnot. I created that story and everything else using ChatGPT, and I didn't even know that part of the lore yet. It was pretty... ChatGPT knows the future. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, so I don't know if you knew that Biomax, but I actually created an entire lore myself around my own my own character, like the reason why his skin is blue and everything else and whatnot, because he comes from a a, a different uh, a different ga uh, not galaxy, but a different planetary system and other things like that. And he came he came to the cornucopian cornucopian land uh, to help uh, use his entrepreneurial skills and other things like that. My only question would be: by other worlds, does he mean other worlds or just other parallel Earths? See, Ooh, that's good. See, he's very he's very particular about the words that he uses. So normally, I would have to say that that wouldn't be a slip up, but it could have been a slip up of just different wording, and we're we're like absolutely tearing up what he's saying right now. Um, but you know, it could it could be that, or it could just be uh, other other worlds as well. Uh, I actually created my character with like all of the extreme left or right like features. So the eyes are like really funky the whole face features like curved and kind of crooked uh i kind of did that just to to play around with the, the actual features but now it makes me seem like maybe i came from earth or maybe i came from another earth and got you know mangled in the process so had a, had a little issue coming through the world gate maybe on that on that trip up <laughs> exactly quantum biomix yeah just hey hey you'll be bioluminescent though <laughs> <laughs> yeah my arms stretch so my arms are as long as they go and yeah it's interesting it's pretty funny right, with this question uh some some fellow named named josh not me what is the biggest strength of cornucopius that is not well known by the community uh, I, my answer would be the focus on quality and also the focus on community has been really impressive. Um, like they put so much into building and building the community and just, it's just something you don't see everywhere. And even when you see them in person, then you really, you really see it when you go to the conventions, but just the way, you know, that Rob is sure. in discord every day. Um, and also I think the, 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 the friendship and chemistry that we see between Rob and Josh on the Kobe cafes is also probably, it's probably more important to community morale and bullish sentiment than people think. Like if they were to fall off and become enemies, like it would like destroy the project. Like people, people, would, sure. people would be very bearish <laughs> for, for sure. But their, their yeah. ability to just be so friendship as as co-ceos and they have their own role and whatnot you know josh seems to be the more managerial side of the actual company side and rob is like the managerial side of like the development of the game side and things like the you know the copy nodes and other things like that 
Right, and I think Rob is low key more of a genius than we know because the fact that he was the original creator of the nodes is pretty impressive. For sure, for sure. I had that all set up himself and everything. He probably brought the idea to the team and was and the team was like, "Wait, you did what?" <laughs> you know, in the background and everything. Right, I think he's more of a tech whiz than people probably know. Than than, than they really yeah. really knew about. Mm -hmm. I'll just say from from a newcomer's perspective, right? From coming from being from playing in other games and having experiences in different uh, arenas, and then coming in to the cornucopia zone, I uh, feel you know I feel welcomed. You know, not every uh, game or or group that's out there like. You might have people that have been there for the OGs a couple of years, right? And then you have a newcomer come in, and it's not as easy to to navigate or to to get familiar or to jump in. And I found Cornucopus to be a really good place to do that, to land and and feel like you could jump in and be part of the part of a community. So and then and then the the like the openness that they have, like to 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 do what they do on a nearly weekly basis um is is a lot like really and truly when when you think about it and everything it's a it's it's them you know coming together and and giving leaks every week you know how do you how do you have enough leaks to do that well they got enough leaks for us to do a whole episode on it maybe a couple episodes uh scott of the corn asked uh where will skyrunners collect resources from and deliver to you know, will will the Atmos Skyrunner be something that you can drive up to your land plot? Uh, I think is a um, okay. So yeah. a lot of <laughs> a lot of questions about Skyrunner there. So yep. uh, Atmos, uh, another in-game brand. So we haven't seen any vehicles of that uh, so far, but uh, they specialize in more utility and commercial vehicles. Uh, so that's where the Skyrunner comes in, and you'll probably see a probably a big a pretty big difference in design choice on that from what you originally saw uh, when it actually comes out. But essentially a big loop for a lot of people with the Skyrunner is having something that can hold a lot of cargo. That's that's the whole idea behind it. And it, it's designed as something to go from hub to hub and other major cities. So if you go from Cornucopius central city uh, in the middle, something probably nobody knows a lot about right now, um, mm -hmm. you could fly that. You could pick up goods there, fly it to the hub in Solus, and offload those goods, actually be able to sell those, maybe pick up some more because Kalido has a demand for something and bring it there. And you can actually have, you know, you can plan out an entire route hauling cargo around Cornucopius. So that's, that's, that's its use case. Now, can you drive a Skyrunner onto your land plot? No, you, you can't do that. So, and okay. that's that's for a lot of reasons. Uh, inside the Solaces, that's a different instance it's running. There'll be a lot of things going on if people are, uh, you know, I don't know, running around, be, running from grizzly bears, yeah. uh, dealing with that open up and building on their land plots. Um, you don't want to be having a peaceful day. If you look over there, look at look behind you. Look at that canyon scene uh, that you have behind you on the wall there. Mm -hmm. What if you were just enjoying your time there and somebody in a Skyrunner just dive bombs you and right. just squishes you? Yeah. <laughs> so we just, yeah, it's just, we're, we're keeping these as sort of a haven uh, from the vehicles themselves. Don't worry, outside of the sectors themselves, there is a thousand by thousand kilometer area uh, to free fly in. So uh, you will have plenty of things to do with the vehicles out. Oh, I gotta stop that for a second. He's given us too much alpha. So he gave us he gave us that there's gonna be basically a game loop of driving, transportation. There and and that's just for the one vehicle that this one manufacturer that hasn't even made a vehicle yet that they know about and all the rest of that. Um and you know, so there's gonna be that game loop. And then they tell you about the thousand by thousand kilometers. So Thousand by thousand kilometers is a like giant game, and and that's where we get to fly our vehicles in between the different. They call them sectors, so they they have to. I guess they call them sectors themselves because those are the different domes within the themed zones. So they're sectors of the themed zones. Um, I've caught that throughout uh, when I was recording. You know this deal to do here. Um, so that was that was interesting myself to to hear. Solace one, two, and three are 
sectors. Uh, Esperanza one, two, and three. Fortune one, two, and three. Those are all good. those are all sectors. Yeah. And each sector has four district, and each district has three towns. Yep. 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 You almost word for word get to uh, what he's going to say here in a minute. <laughs> so, uh, Biomax, what do you think about the uh, the the vastness of the space of what actually a thousand by thousand kilometers truly is, and in what would what that will be the Kopi Kopi verse Kopi universe? Yeah, I mean, it, it's. I, I think it was on was it on Cafe One or Two? Maybe I, somewhere they just showed the the, the size comparison to other games, uh, Fortnite and some other games, and the overall what what cornucopus is going to be is just multiples uh the size of most of these games that people are playing now, nowadays maybe web 2 or otherwise so yeah a thousand kilometers by a thousand kilometers that's a huge space it's a huge space to design all the detail in and have uh, play go through and, and keep in mind that um that thousand by thousand kilometers is not even a part of that picture that was shown in that kopi cafe that picture that you're referencing was the combined landmass of all the 36 uh explorable space sectors yeah the sectors because each each zone is three sectors right now they've sold the land for three zones so there's going to be nine more zones i think so that's 36 sectors and those sectors combined are going to be 26 times bigger than grand theft auto 5 but that doesn't even include this thousand by thousand kilometers of space that you can fly in that they're talking about that's totally different yeah that that we'll also be able did, to fly all over it it and that didn't include Kalido. that didn't include the pavilion right. at all and that didn't include the, the city, city centers it's, giant it's, it's, that's it's, the it's, only thing you can really say is yeah. just giant I mean, Kobe fam, we're two episodes in. So down in the comment section below, why don't you tell me what you like about this miniseries that we're doing on the week of leaks and come back in 12 hours and we'll be here again. Peace.